and a show of support for the jailed son of a former Surfside commissioner. And it comes as we see video of a new incident involving him and the town's top cop a month before his arrest. And Local 10's Christian Del Rosa live now in Surfside with the fallout tonight. Christian. Calvin Nicole, not only is the police chief speaking to Local 10 News, he's also sharing a piece of video he believes is very telling in light of this controversial arrest that so many showed up here tonight to protest. I think what you did to him and his family was despicable. Surfside neighbors showing up at their city's Tuesday commission meeting to protest the arrest of 18 year old Joshua Epstein. Keep pushing me, Josh. Yeah, he was charged and cuffed after Vice Mayor Jeff Rose accused him of pushing him during a recent candidates forum ahead of next week's local elections. This false charge by the town cost young Joshua about 27 hours of his freedom and has now placed this town in legal jeopardy. So far, video evidence showing Epstein pushing Rose has not surfaced. But the police chief tells Local 10 News the arrest was warranted. I can tell you that every arrest that we make uh, is based on probable cause. That is the legal standard. Chief Antonio Marciante also pointing to this body camera video from a separate occasion. He says it shows Epstein pretending to be pushed. My son never made that into anything more than what it was, which was he was being harassed by the police and he got himself out of the way. Epstein's mother and former commissioner speaking directly to the town's vice mayor. I don't get sad, I get mad. And after I'm done getting mad, I get even, okay? So when we're done, I will name my boat after you, Mr. Rose. I will take one of your houses, maybe two of them, because you did this deliberately. You deprive my son of due process. So again, Epstein, a known critic of this commission, along with his mother and former commissioner, they all claim this was political retaliation. But again, the chief stressing, even though we have yet to see any video evidence of this alleged battery, that this arrest was warranted, that there is probable cause we have yet to see and stand by to find out if any of this controversy will have an effect in next week's election. We will wait and see. Live in Surfside, I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.